Okay, so today we're going to have a look at the Race Studio 3 Analysis Beta. For many of you, just like me, Race Studio 2 Analysis is all that we've ever really used when it comes to analyzing the data. Now we may have had updates to the hardware, I actually started with a Solo and then I moved into an MXL2 and then all sorts of different devices where Race Studio 3 was the software that I used to be able to download session data and configure the devices, but always um, Race Studio 2 was the place where we go to to be able to analyze that data. Now with this beta from AIM, we're now looking at a way of being able to say, okay, let's see if we can now use this to be able to analyze everything from configuring the devices to downloading the session data to being able to have a look at how we're actually doing on track. So having spent a bit of time with this uh, beta software, now I might add and caveat that this is a beta software that's been out since July, but having race season on and working through some details, I haven't really given it as much attention as I can do now, now that we're out of race season and um, you know I might not be on track until next year. And so now I can really get into it. So I thought I'd pass on some of the experiences that I've had working with this particular software itself. I'll also caveat that this is a beta, which means that what you may see in this video and some of the tutorials may change over time as the software is enhanced and advanced and moved more and more towards a production uh, ready um, software for all of us to use. And so I believe that there are a, key, a few key aspects. Now everyone's going to talk about the number one major advantage that exists with the Race Studio 3 analysis. And this, if you've got a Smarty Cam in particular, is one of the best features. Is that what the system and what the software will do is it will overlay where you are in relation to your data, a video of where you are on track and a track map. So you can join together all the aspects that typically you would have had to have done with three different uh, components or three different screens. You may have had a measures graph, you may have had a GPS map overlay, you may have actually overlaid it on Google Earth, uh, and then you also had a Smarty Cam file. Now you can bring all of those together and that without doubt is the number one advantage of the Race Studio 3 analysis software. That being said, there are other advantages to those who may not have a Smarty Cam. And interestingly, when I look at the success of the videos that I put on YouTube in relation to which ones are more popular than others, nearly every month, the second most popular video that I put up is people looking to download data from Race Studio to Analysis and overlay it on Google Earth. That is now built into the software and you don't just have to use Google, you could use any of them from Here Maps to Bing Maps, all of the different mapping softwares are there so you can actually overlay your lines on an actual map. And this is a huge advantage for anyone even just using a Solo 2 with the GPS based data. But there's more than that and there's more advantage which slowly as I've developed an understanding for the software, I've started to appreciate. One of my absolute favorite parts of it is the test database. The test database that used to be in Race Studio Analysis was very functional. The test name, the driver, the car, the track, the session, maybe a few notes, and that was it. And you could filter and sort that. Now there's a whole lot more information that's available. You can actually have a quick overview of the laps themselves. You can actually put the weather, so you can see what the weather was like that on that day. So one of the key components that we often don't take enough notes on is what the weather was like. Was it raining? Was it dry? Was it really hot? Was it cold? All of things, these things may actually change the way that your car performs on track. And so having knowledge of that, is really useful and so the test database overview is also a huge advantage uh, so to speak. Now I'm using this Race Studio 3 analysis software just to be able to test and work with the analysis. I'll still use the Race Studio 2 analysis and I'll still use Race Studio 3 production for most of the aspects of what I do. But what I will say on initial sort of um, uh, usage and experimentation is that this software is a huge step forward in terms of being able to address some of the major critiques that people have had, which is, I'd love to be able to see data and video together. I'd love to easily be able to see my laps on something like Google Earth. And I want an easier way of being able to use the same software to download the data, to uh, configure my uh, devices, and to be able to then analyze the data all together. And so I believe the name have done a really good job of being able to piece all this together. So for all of you, um, who may be interested in using this, what I've done is created five um, tutorials. All will be available and linked over the next few days as you look to uh, uh, experimenting with this software. 
The first we'll look at how to import your data. Now, interestingly, I've imported data into a separate folder with just five or so different uh, experiences on track with maybe about 20 or so sessions, just so it's manageable. You could actually have the software look at all your data, but then it gets a little bit overwhelming to be able to see. So importing the data, understanding the, the uh, test database that is there, really starting to look at analyzing data because you don't have to have a smarty cam. I think this software is doing a good job for those who have data files. Then also looking at the aspect of working with profiles and how to set up your own custom view. And then finally, the big aspect of video and data overlay together. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please put a comment in the box below if you want to learn a little bit more about the Ray Studio Analysis Beta, or if you just want to be able to ask to focus on a different area. If you don't like the video as well, please comment. I'd love to know why, so that we can improve it in future videos. And so with that, I'll say thanks so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, that'd be fab. And uh, stay tuned for the next vlog.